uh, yeah, without doing anything for him. It is a very big grace to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, I want to thank the Lord uh, for our visitors that have come to visit with us. Uh, they have been having missions in, in some other places. And we thank God that they have remembered Nakuru. Hallelujah. Because uh, one thing that we, we need to know that Nakuru is the heart of Kenya. Hallelujah. And God begins to do missions from Nakuru. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a cosmopolitan place. And the Lord loves Nakuru. Glory to Jesus. Again, I want to say that uh, uh, in Nakuru, Nakuru uh, the Lord is going to do mighty things. Through our visitors that have come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Uh, the Bible says that it is good to uh, welcome visitors. Because in so doing, you can welcome uh, angels without knowing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to believe this morning that our angels are in our midst. God sent angels are in our midst. Hallelujah. It happened to the uh, life of this man called Abraham. When God wanted to destroy the city of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, he sent angels to go and uh, 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 destroy that city. And the Bible records that as they were passing by, Abraham saw them. Abraham and Abraham welcomed them into his home. Abraham and the Bible says that from there, their life did not remain the same. I want to decree and declare this morning that our life shall not remain the same. Hallelujah. I'm saying that our life shall not remain the same. Because we have decided to welcome the angels of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, and so now, sasa, I will not take a lot of time because, because we know our visitors are on the way going to Marsabit. And we, we would not want to take a lot of their time. We want to welcome them so that they can uh, speak to us for just a few minutes. Then we shall release them. Alafu watu wakilie. Then we shall continue with our normal life. Tafaidela na ibada kama kawaida. Hallelujah. Amen. Wangapi wanafurahia wageni? Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Kwa hivyo tupike makofi mingi, tupike kelele, shangwe na vikelekele wakati wageni wanapokuja. Amen. Amen. Let us make a hand clap as you welcome our people. Shangwe na vikelekele. Good morning. God bless Africa. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Come on. Good morning. And I just want to say that uh, Jesus loves you so much. And, uh, we apologize for our attire. 
whatever respect that we are joining you guys this morning. This morning, um, Pastor Renate Yanko from Philippines. And uh, I'm so glad that finally I'm here in Africa. For about 33 years. I have been praying and desiring to come here since 1991. It's been 2024. So it's about 33 years. But granted, my prayers, God answered my prayers. So I tell you that there is a time in everything. There is a time in everything. If you guys decide for something, you pray for everything. It's too long. And you've been waiting for God to answer it. Just wait for the right time. Just believe God. Just believe God. It will come to pass. Amen? It will come to pass. God said in the uh, 37, Psalm 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your time. Yes? Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of what? Dying. Of dying. Yeah. Amen. So in his time. So just believe and wait for the perfect time. For the perfect time. Because we believe that God made all things beautiful. In his time. In his time. So, Pastor, give the Lord that there is a time for everything. And believe God that that time will really come to pass. Before I end my message or word of encouragement, I would like to encourage you to please read your Bible. In Luke chapter 8, verses 22 to 56. I shared this word of encouragement in Mamias, and in Loki Jogio with Pastor Peter, and I would like to share this also to all of you this morning. That chapter, in that verse, we can see, starting from verse 22, up to 56, four stories in the Bible. Number one, Jesus comes the storm. Okay. Then number two, Jesus delivered a demon possessed. Okay. Number three, a woman who has suffered a disease. Again, a bleeding woman suffered for 20 years and in just a simple touch of the cloak of Jesus she was healed. She was delivered. For 12 years she suffered but the Lord God delivered her. And another story here comes the father came to Jesus for help because his, do his daughter is sick and dying Hello? but Jesus there, uh, there is a report rather that the daughter of her him 
Means what? Already died. But Jesus told his father, Jairus, not to worry. Just believe. When he came to the house of Jairus, he came into the house of Jairus and his disciples. He said to that young lady, Rise up. Come on. And that lady was raised up. So here, with the four stories, we can see that Jesus has given dominion. Jesus has given dominion. And everything is under his feet. When Jesus comes the storm, it reveals that Jesus has the power over nature. Amen? Amen. And when he delivered that demonic man, it reveals that Jesus has the power over demons. Amen? Amen. And when that young, uh, when that woman, 26, uh, 12 years, a uh, bleeding woman, a bleeding woman, healed, it reveals that Jesus has the power over sickness. Amen. Amen. And when he raised the daughter, uh, Jairus daughter, when he raised her from the dead, it reveals that Jesus has the power over death. So four things we learn about Jesus. Jesus is the power over nature. Jesus is the power over demons. And Jesus is the power over sickness. And Jesus has the power over death. Can you see Amen? So remember that things. So Jesus is the store cover. No matter what problem you are facing right now, remember that Jesus has the power to carve every storm in your life. Every storm in your life. And I speak Jesus right now. Every problem, sickness, whatever problems you are facing right now, I come against in Jesus' name. And I speak to that storm in your life right now. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Thank you. And do you like it always that Jesus is our Savior? Keep the faith in your heart. Keep the faith in your heart. For Jesus is the only one. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves the Kuru people. Jesus loves Kenyan people. Jesus loves African, Ukrainian, and even Filipino. Yes. Regardless of our races, yes. Jesus loves us so much. Yes. Tell your brothers and sisters, Jesus loves you. Come on. Yes. Jesus loves you. Yes. Oh, God bless us all, and good morning. Amen. Jambo sana habari? Habari yako? Wajabu. I love Kenya, I love Ukrainian, I love Filipinos, I love uh, uh, Islam or Kenya. Anapenda Kenya, anapenda Filipino, anapenda Ukraine, anapenda wa Islamu, ni wako ijini Kenya. This is the gift of Kenya starting with my working with the mission. My deep visit to Pastor Joshua and Erastus to testing. I did this visit to start with the working my mission. My mission is to visit Kenya, working to the territory of Ethiopia, Sudan, Somalia, and 
connect to bishops of church to central Kenya. Sudan, Ethiopia, na Mandela, na Masabit. Iyo nukuma kwae kwa ndani yake. My working to stem by step, to set up big missionario and pastors and evangelistos to new territory and Ukrainian and Filipino to Oshenia. Ya, wakatu huwa kwae mekuja, anataka munga msaidie, pata, wa missionari wale ambao wanafanya kazi katika nchi ya Kenya, Ufilipino na kule Ukraine. My big mission to work to uh, step by step you are to welcome to country uh, country Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, kazi yake ya kubwa sana ni kufanya nchi yote ikuwe ikuwe yani hizi nchi zote zitoke mipaka zisikuepo ikuwe tu ulimwengu mzima ni wa Yesu Kristo. So this is work, work to big, big market. Na nampia kasi ya ngine kufikia watu ambawa nafanya katika soko kubwa kubwa. So this is cry to go to market and love this is cry to money. Me and you market to pay to come to Jesus Christ. Ya, yaani leko letu kubwa inafaa kuwa ushukulika na kuleta watu katika kristo lakini watu wengi wamechukua yaani kazi ya mungu kuwa kama biashara ya kwamba anapoanza kazi ya mungu anakuwa ametengeneza soko ya kutafuta pesa my mission and uh, and helping to you to stand by step stand by step and Kenya stand by step to country Jesus Christ ya na ye uduma yake vinya mekuja nataka kusaidia watumishi wa mungu ya nakupaliana pamoja na ye kuwasaidia hatua kwa hatua kufikia malengo ya na makusudi ambayo Yesu Kristo alikuwa nayo kwa mioyo ya watu. So welcome Prato Francisco to Jesus Christ country. Na ndugu zangu na dada zangu tafadhali na wakaribisheni kwa hii kazi nzuri ya Mungu ambayo ameiweka. Amen. Anaomba. Kaspoj vaini sutsa Kristo apresoa e Bogu siku. Bože, blagodaj te, te nije staja, blesim to na kuru, blesim to pipo na kuru, blesim to pipo to Kenija, vajetim to Hrsta, blesim to očinija, blesim to Filipino, blesim to Ukrajinija, vajetim to sude, vajetim to blagodaj te, sudu, gospod, vajetim to sudu, Hrsta, vajetim to vlast, gospod, vajetim to sudu, vajetim to sudu, vajetim to sudu, vajetim to sudu, Zakrušaj me iz srca Hrista, prizvajte tvoju blagodat, tvoju silu, tvoju vlast, tvoju plan, Gospod, tvoje me iz srca Hrista. Podigi iz tej zemlji djelatelji, Gospod, pust tvoj paradak, Gospod, jom, bukit nasaštjot, tvoje me iz srca Hrista, zemlje Kenije, tvoje me iz srca Hrista, robiću robotu, Gospod, tvoje me iz srca Hrista, ja prizvajte tvoju blagodat, tvoju silu, Gospod, djelatelji tvoje blagodati, Pronto, holi si, Gospod, djesu, sukar se tem, Gospod, djeli svoj silu, Gospod, kaj si srdec, Gospod, istini, Gospod, tjela, istini duše, Gospod, istini razum vrštenja, istini duh, vaj, Gospod, Hrsta, blagosti, Gospod, vajti, tvoje carstvo, Gospod, podnjavca i šak za šaka, Gospod, stupiti v eno zemlju, Gospod, tvojo carstvo, Gospod, iz tega naroda Kenije, Gospod, proslav, upotrebi nas, Gospod, Po Tvojej voli, Gospod, s ljubovim v srce, Gospod, Tvoje ime Svjeto Hrsta. Ďakujem, Gospod, za vsi misiju, Gospod, ktorú Ti našel, Gospod, delať i tu robotu, ktorú Ti našel delať čeriz nas, Tvoje ime Svjeto Hrsta. Ďakujem Tebi, Gospod, Tvoje ime Svjeto Hrsta, 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 T kwa sababu ya muta hila ambayo hamefipatia na najua ya kwamba hako na sababu ya kutuelekeza kufika maali hama kwa na asfiri mimi naitu wa mishokaji Joshua natoka mmias ni baba wa watoto wa tatu na munga memparifi na watoto wengine kukina moja Haleluya Haleluya Ukija yubani tuko na familia kukwa ya watu wa kumi na saba. 
Mungu ni mwaminifu kwetu sana sana sana. Amen. Sasa ningependa tu